What is your person currently thinking about? What is your person currently feeling? Welcome to Silla Vitero. I hope everyone is doing great and well. All right, so the extended will be at the bottom of the video if you're interested in knowing deeper about this person's intentions, all right, and messages from spirit. And if you're interested in a personal reading, all of that is below, okay? What is happening at this time with this person? What is this person feeling? Fantasizing. I feel like someone here doesn't feel like they should take action at this time, right? Um, I feel like this person is not wanting to rush things. That's the first thing, okay? I'm not wanting to rush things. I'm not disconnecting from you. I'm not, you know, leaving or anything of that nature. I can't stop thinking about you, however, okay? There's something about not being the right time. I feel like this person feels like, in the past, they didn't think things were the right time. They thought things moved a bit too quickly here. Maybe there was some sort of interference in the connection at some point. Um, and I feel like someone here wanted to work on themselves or get some sort of situation straightened out before they could actually come forward. Uh, when this person thinks about you, of course, there is a very deep, sensual feeling Um that this person has for you. Um, it says, I can't stop my mind from escaping to a world where it's only you and I. Okay, so um, whatever memory or whatever stamp you left on this person's heart, this person is going back and forth constantly thinking about this here. I also get that someone here is in a place where they need answers. Maybe you've been contacting this person, um, trying to get answers from this person, but this person doesn't feel like it's the right time. Okay, I feel like this person could have kept you waiting, all right, for a number of reasons, um, not being ready for a relationship, not being ready to um, be vulnerable, not being ready to deal with another situation, as we stated, or not being ready to give you what you need more so, all right, whatever that may be, right, where you could have been looking for a commitment or looking for a, a man or a woman or whatever it is that you were looking for, someone here wasn't ready for that. And now uh, they're in their head. We have helpless energy here. I do feel like uh, there is this energy of needing courage. Like I need to find the courage to make this happen. I feel trapped. Okay, so your person could be trapped in something. For some of you that are watching, this person could be trapped in their head or still trapped in this energy of fear, where I'm very fearful of taking this initiative, taking this step. Um, my family members would love it if I brought someone like you home or my family members would love it if I connected with someone like you because you're different. But that also scares them. All right. There's this energy of different scares me. All right. Um, you know, this energy of you being so vibrant, so loving, so understanding, so warm, so um, ready for commitment really puts this pl person in this place of I don't know what to do. OK, so that's why we are getting this not the right time energy. I do feel like for a lot of you. Um, you are willing to be patient with this person, but because this person hasn't been giving you any feedback or hasn't really been opening up to you about how they currently feel about you, it is putting you in this energy of, I do need answers. Okay. Um, now with needing answers, I feel like this is someone here that also doesn't want to hold you up and they understand they could be holding you up to some degree, but it's more of like a internal battle. All right. I also feel like someone here needs to eliminate something before moving forward. I need to eliminate fear. I need to eliminate um, a person in my life here. There's something that they need to remove in order to step into that energy with you here. I do also get someone's um, either sister or mother being extremely judgmental to some degree. And I feel like they are, have been keeping this relationship a secret also, or they've watched their mother or their sister have failed relationships that just came in. Okay, if that doesn't resonate with you, then put that to the side. But someone is saying, I've kept my love for you a secret. I haven't really told you how I feel. 
okay? And also I'm getting this energy of someone also during this helpless energy, wanting you to do things, wanting you to reach out, wanting you to step out of your, your energy, whether that's the masculine energy or the feminine energy. It's like they want you to step out of it um, because they don't know what to do currently. All I could do is fantasize, all right? I'm getting a lot of Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy, this fantasizing energy, right? This energy of, I wish you could do more here. Again, we have a double life, right? We have someone here not being transparent. All right. Now, the only issue with that is some of you that are watching are extremely intuitive. And because you're intuitive, you're able to feel through this person's energy, feel through this person's vibration. Um, for some of you, it's like, well, this is actually making me a little upset because this person is playing games with my emotions, right? This person is, um, you know, pulling back when, you know, it's the holidays and this is not the time for this sort of behavior. Okay. We have, I'm angry. Okay. I'm also getting someone here being angry with themselves for taking a very long time to make this connection work. And they're going to start noticing that once someone here completely dis disconnects from this connection here it's like i'm angry with myself or i've been angry with myself that i can't actually make things work here all right i'm also seeing someone being angry with their boss or angry with their workplace also and also taking that out on the relationship and saying you know this is not the right time for me i'm not financially set i'm living in a environment that i'm not happy and there's a lot going on where someone here is not able to give you what you need if you understand what I mean okay let's get a little bit more I'm getting someone also it's like at times they wish they could just not have a cell phone I feel like someone feels like they're bombarded with text messages they wish that um, you would say a little bit more I'm not telling you to, to do that obviously but I am seeing this person getting a bit angry when you're not expressing yourself or you're not opening up maybe you may be mirroring this person and they're not used to that energy right I'm not used to you being so quiet Okay, I'm used to you doing the most. Spirit is saying, trust the plan. Okay, trust the plan that this is going to go accordingly here. Okay, I'm also getting this pretending energy. If you could see this very clearly, there's someone here. It's like one minute they're showing you that they do not care. And the next minute they're becoming very vulnerable. This is a future energy of vulnerability, which we will look at in the extended. But this energy of being vulnerable here, um, it comes in for some of you uh, late but what happens here is, yes, you're being vulnerable and you are bringing your heart into the situation. However, I'm afraid of that other side of you. I'm afraid of, you know, that practical side of you saying, well, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if I'm your type. Why does this person feel like they are not your type? Is there some sort of insecurity or this person feels like they have to act one way in front of people or, you know, they have to act um, like they're not connecting with you? Okay. Also, if this person is not speaking with you, it's like they're coming off like they don't care, but I feel like they do. Spirit is saying again, trust the plan, trust this energy. Okay. There's no need to stress about it. I do get someone here stressing about it as if like, I really need to hear something or see something. Spirit is saying you can feel everything. You don't need to hear everything. All right. Grass is greener on the other side. Exactly. So someone here decided to take a plunge and, um, you know, <laughs> it's like they wanted to explore the other sides of things here. Is there a secret relationship? Is this a secret? For some of you, this could be a secret or this person is secretly fantasizing about you here. And of course, we have I can't move on. OK, I tried, but I can't. And that's why I'm angry with myself here. All right. I can't move on no matter how hard I try, no matter how hard I try. I constantly think about you. And again, I feel like with this energy, some of you are wondering, can I trust this person? And we'll look at this person's intentions in the beautiful extended just to get an idea of what we are in for here. OK, but I get someone here again. It's like I need answers. I need answers here. I need to get you out of my head. Someone here is desperately wanting to get you out of their head because they know that um, it depends demands some sort of action okay um, we also have a breakup here and someone's saying I love you does someone here have to possibly 
get a divorce or someone here is like non-committal because they're they've seen so many divorces so it's like i don't know if i want to get married or i don't know if i see myself you know actually moving into that place some of you wanted commitment it doesn't have to be marriage i just wanted commitment right because i love you more than you know actually okay so let's take a deeper look in the extended and see what the vibes are for the weekend here. I'll talk to you soon. Have a beautiful one.